what, what, what is our focus? What do we intend to do? In CITN, we are interested in changing the narrative of the country, a mono-economic country. We want Nigeria to follow the pathway of developed countries, whereby you make use of tax revenue to develop the country. Doing that alone has enormous benefit for the country. Try and nurture your, the taxpayer you want tomorrow. Behave like the account officer in the bank. I'm a nano businessman and I have account with bank B or bank C or bank uh, whatever. And the account officer, because my success is also a function of his promotion, is interested in my prosperity. So he advised me, okay, we have this product. If you know you can take this loan and you take this advantage with, from the market, you can, we will support you, but ensure you pay. And once you take the loan, it also follows through. So we want the revenue authority in Nigeria that will nurture the taxpayer that, 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 that they collect money from tomorrow. If you are not able to collect today, don't kill that taxpayer. So sanitizing the tax space, making the taxpayer the king, protecting his interest, partnering with him in the journey along, we help the system. We are going to a level whereby it will be difficult for the taxpayer to lie. In fact, what I'm envisaging, or what is in the pipeline, that it won't even be within the capacity of the taxpayer to lie. Today, we'll be having a chat with the president of the Chartered Institute of Taxation of Nigeria, CITN, the 16th president. Barrister Samuel Abuiluyi, who assumed office in June 2023. Barrister Abuiluyi, thank you for joining us today. Thank you. It is my pleasure. Good to have you, sir. Thank you. Sir, so it's been a year since you assumed office as the 16th president of the CITN. How far so far? What are your achievements? Well, thank you very much. So far, so good. It's been eventful. And uh, I can only thank God for the opportunity to serve the amazing task professionals in Nigeria. We started with uh, my investor, which was a great success. I talk about the investor because uh, it is important. When we improve on our program, the essence is to make sure that uh, we create awareness. Uh, Investor is not about the president, it's not a personality issue, but about the institute. Uh, the idea of uh, making the investor that way is to ensure that uh, we create awareness. Uh, we want many people to know CIT and what we stand for, and we did that. It was a, a success, and uh, almost immediately thereafter, we have uh, we continue with our relationship, strategic relationship with uh, Anna. We had our joint retreat uh, program, council retreat program in Abuja, where we address press conference, uh, addressing bony national issue. You will agree with me, that was the current government came in late May last year, and I came into the office in June. So uh, specifically, July, we had a strategic uh, council retreat with Annan, and we addressed uh, the general uh, public as to some of the pending issues. And uh, some of those issues are still with us as we speak. Uh, but uh, transition is economics, has a very strong base in economics. And uh, to that extent, you, we we can't talk about the economy of Nigeria without talking about tourism. Neither can you talk about tourism without the economy of the country. Some of the major decisions that the government at national le le level has made had direct impact on people. And tourism has played a major role in the uh, discussion in the past one year or thereabout. And we have featured uh, remarkably, if I may say that, in this uh, whole process. 
with uh, the institute uh, led by my humble self, we've been called to National Assembly on a number of occasions to make a contribution to national issue. Uh, we have done that very well. We appreciate the leadership of the National Assembly for carrying people along in their decision-making process or law-making process that uh, we have done. And of course, we ended the year on a glorious note. Our second induction program for the year 2023 took place, and we had for the first time uh, in recent years uh, induction of uh, 1,057 people who joined the institute. It was a major program. Thereafter, we had our annual dinner, and annual dinner, the special guest of honor happens to be the governor of the Gawa State. And so we ended last year on a gl glorious note. Our advocacy was a top notch. We tried to make sure that we make comment uh, or give advice as and when necessary, because the new government is, uh, is trying to do a lot of things within a, a short uh, space of uh, time. And so we have made ourselves available in that uh, regard. So we ended 2023 on a good note. Uh, 2024, we started again on a strategic note. We look at the budget 2024, and uh, we spoke uh, specifically to the financial aspect, financial in the area of uh, fiscal and tax policy. We, uh, the members of uh, CITN under this, uh, under my presidency, have been picked, appointed as member of the presidential committee on uh, fiscal policy and tax reform set up by President uh, Bola Metinubu, specifically. August 2023. Now, uh, my humble self, I'm a member of that committee, and we have tried to make sure that everything we have suggested to the company, over, to the country over the years, all the seminar, all the communicate coming out of our programs, we have fit the committee, our right up, our position, so that we could get better as a country. So that we have done, and so we started 2024 with uh, the analysis of the budget, and we told the government what we felt uh, should be done. And uh, prominent, because no matter how technical you want to be, no matter how, how you want to make the task simple or sophisticated as the case may be, the other end that is very critical to the taxpayer is that the government must make good use of whatever is paid as tax. We have uh, not relented in any form, making sure that we tell the government, the political leaders, as to the reason why people will pay more when they have the confidence of the uh, uh, government, that government will use whatever is given to them uh, in their favor. That is very critical, and we have uh, kept on saying this. So that was uh, uh, January. And as we move into the year 2024, specifically from February, we got arising from previous relationship, not necessarily initiated by me, but by my predecessors in the office. And uh, if I may say, specifically under the Simplest uh, administration. We had we started a kind of relationship with Gambia Revenue Authority. Uh, that came into fruition early this year, where uh, the authority in Gambia sent their personnel to Ross for training in three batches, uh, looking at uh, change management, task uh, administration, oil and gas, audit uh, assignment and exercise. So all those we did uh, early this year, and we were we are very grateful to the authority in Gambia. It only speaks to the fact that CHN is not only recognized in Nigeria, but even across the border. As I speak to you, uh, we have a discussion ongoing with Tanzania Revenue Authority. We have discussion going on with some of our colleagues 
in uh, Kenya, hopefully before the year runs out, we do something meaningful in that uh, direction. And so we move on in the course of the year. And uh, our major program in this institute is the annual task conference. Uh, we, we did very well. I'm happy to announce that uh, we crossed the 3,000 mark in terms of uh, attendance and in terms of uh, participation by stakeholders. Because uh, over the years, we've always been seeing this that as, a, as, as, a, as a foremost professional institute in the country. We can't afford to keep on talking to ourselves. We need the policy maker, we need the decision maker, uh, makers across the country to also be part of our discussion so that implementation of whatever comes out of our conference we make sense and uh, it, we won't need more uh, a lot of explanation uh, to make if they are part of the discussion and so i'm happy that uh, as a follow-up to various presentations we have made to stakeholders across the country uh, the governor of uh, uh, sokoto state was in the annual task conference the representative of uh, the governor of kogi state was there, the deputy governor of Bono State was there, uh, the special advisor on tax and revenue matters, Lagos State, represented the governor of Lagos State, and uh, the former governor of Ogun State, Senator Ibikunle Amusu, was also there. And they brought, they were not just there, they brought their practical experience in government to, to the conference, and that is very critical. Because what the benefit of that is to close the gap, the information or the knowledge gap between the leaders and the led. Sometimes uh, the way the followers perceive the government or government officials is like they are from another planet. We are all Nigerians. And we need to do a lot of talking to ourselves. We need to listen to ourselves. In terms of uh, attendance, we had a new record in terms of uh, participation of uh, leaders, not just task professionals alone, but leaders across the uh, country attending, political leaders for that matter. It was a major success. And uh, we surmounted what would have been a major crisis uh, regarding the failure of the uh, annual task conference. We are by barely a month before the conference, the, Honorable Minister for Federal Capital Territory uh, decided to do something about the International uh, Conference Center Abuja. The venue we have chosen for the uh, conference, but I've always told people we are fantastic members in the institute. The rules up to the occasion, they rally around the uh, the leaders, and we got. A, a, another venue. So the impact of what would have marred the conference was uh, minimal. We rose to the occasion and we did very well. Uh, I'm very proud of members of this uh, uh, great institute because the way they supported the leader, leaders of the institute with suggestions and, and ideas, I uh, can't thank them enough. So we have had that. Uh, apart from these governors coming to our conference, we have visited them. We were in Sokoto, well received by the uh, East SNSC, the governor of uh, Sokoto, Dr. Aliyu. We were in uh, uh, Jigawa. Uh, and for your information, the governor of uh, Sokoto State is a member. That of Jigawa is also a member. We have visited him. We have visited another member who is the governor, the governor of uh, Kogi State. So, and uh, we are also on the move to see some other uh, governors, political leaders, who are members of the institute. About uh, two months ago, we were in Nassau Rock. We visited the vice president, who has a fantastic knowledge of the way we should go, task-wise, in this country. Uh, you know, you labor less when you speak to a knowledgeable person. People, and I need to say this, uh, because of the way we have perceived our leaders, Sometimes we don't give credit to them. Uh, most often than not, we 
condemn or criticize them. Our meeting with uh, the Vice President, Senator Setima, was an hope inspiring visit, if I, if I, if I could say that, because uh, it, it demonstrated the knowledge that we know uh, teaming up with the president, they could, they have the capacity to move this country forward. So those are the basic things we have done in the past uh, one year. I have some other area. In terms of uh, our relationship or building or working on the task profession itself, uh, task profession as a, as a discipline, uh, distinct discipline of its own. Uh, as we speak, we are collaborating with the uh, Federal Inner Revenue Service to ensure that tradition is introduced as a subject in WAEC. That job is uh, reaching advanced stage, and the essence of that is to catch them young. Let the young ones know what is tradition, even from secondary school. Most of us got to know. Uh, uh, anything about tradition in our tertiary uh, uh, education. And it was because I, I studied accounting. And so it was part of what was discussed. But nobody told me anything about tradition when I was in secondary school, except the sparing mention of tradition in economics. So now we want to make tradition a course, a subject in WIAC, so that people, young ones, can be uh, 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 made to know. And of course, that is a preparation of the new or the young generation to become a responsible adult when they grow up. We are also in collaboration with some other uh, tertiary institutions. A lot of them are also introducing tertiary. You have a college of tech, the, the credo of uh, higher institution in the country. I'm proud to be an alumnus of that uh, 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 great uh, polytechnic. They have just introduced tradition. So it speaks to the fact that beyond what we see in CITN, even in the academy, as represented by the National Union of uh, University Commission, uh, the National Board of Technical Education, they have seen the need to make sure that tradition is a profession and it's a standalone profession because it is actually the future of this country because it has been the bedrock of any developed nation. So Nigeria, we want to develop, do the right thing about tradition, make it simple, make it uh, uh, attractive, and of course, be accountable. Once we are accountable, once we are transparent with whatever you collect from government, from the taxpayer rather, then I tell you, Nigeria will be a great place uh, to live in. Thank you. You spoke about the challenge that the Institute faced in the realm to the 26th Annual Task Conference. Would like to know if there is any other challenge you encountered apart from this you mentioned and how you've been able to handle them. A professional institute like CIT has structure and that is very comforting. And you don't just become the president overnight. You go through the structure. And as you lead the structure, you still have people supporting you. I have fantastic council members who are very alive to their responsibility. I have de dependable past, uh, body of past president who will always check on you, give you good counsel, advise you as, uh, uh, as you may require allow you to flourish the way you need, but when it is very important, they, they also come uh, up with wise uh, cancer. So that has been a major strength for me as an individual, and I think that's the strength of this institute. Should there be uh, any issue that come up, you get cancer from across the country and even outside the country from our members. So that has been a major strength. We also, in the course of uh, the year, we have uh, a kind of challenge from our sister professional body, ICANN, 
uh, is being a moment whereby uh, what we felt we have concluded or settled keeps on uh, coming up again. We've had a uh, MOU with ICANN, midwife by the uh, Association of Professional Bodies of Nigeria, as to how we relate and where you draw the line. Uh, in addition to that, we've had MOU midwife by Federal Inland Revenue Service as to how to cooperate, how to draw the line, and how we move the country forward. But uh, again, life is uh, what it is. So we've had a kind of uh, not too good uh, experience coming from that uh, uh, our sister professional body. But we believe we'll be good. We believe we are talking, and we believe at the end of the day, the right thing will be done. And uh, we all, uh, because at what, what, what is our focus? What do we intend to do? In CITN, we are interested in changing the narrative of the country, a mono-economic country. We want Nigeria to follow the pathway of developed countries whereby you make use of tax revenue to develop the country. Doing that alone has enormous benefit for the country. I'll give a, an example. There's a direct correlation between a tax compliant environment and democracy. Once the people pay what they are supposed to pay, they have all the moral and legal rights to hold the, 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 the government accountable. And of course, their participation in democracy is not secondary. So beyond the revenue in the cover of the government, it is also key to ensure that Nigeria is a tax compliance country, so that we will be alive to our democratic obligations. So these are what we are interested. Some years back, under President Buhari's uh, uh, regime, NFPC was not bringing money to the national cover. It was FRS, Federal Revenue Service, that rose to the occasion. And FRS have been doing very well ever since. Last year, I think they made 12.3 trillion. Their target for 2024 is 19.8 trillion. That is making sure that despite the general kind of downtown, worldwide, economic-wise, FRS has risen to the occasion, and they have the capacity to do more. And that is why we should all be expectant of the report coming out of this presidential committee, so that once the government show enough commitment, political will, to implement the report, then, of course, Nigeria will be on the trajectory to, be, to become a great nation. The Institute has been growing from strength to strength. would like to know, what is the current status of the Institute? By virtue of the great numbers of people who showed interest in becoming members of the Institute, in the past one year or thereabouts, we have crossed the 29,000 uh, membership base. And we, from the projection we have, uh, from the application even within the system, we see the institute possibly in the next six months or thereabout crossing the 30,000 membership base. That is what we, we have. And uh, of course, knowing that tradition, like I said before, stand on a tripod, a tripod of economics, law, and accounting. So we, the multidisciplinary nature of tradition has helped us greatly. The lawyers have a lot of role to play in tradition. Of course, uh, tradition follows economics. Without economic activities, there's nothing you call tradition. So we have the tripod, and we have people who are purely economists, but we bias for tradition. We have lawyers, we bias for tradition, and we have accountants, we bias for tradition. If you, the margin of these three legs have helped us greatly. And that is why CITN is actually able to contribute
to the development of uh, the country we call Nigeria. How does a member of the CITN acquire practice license and the seal and the stamp? What are the requirements and of course, what are the benefits? To, to, to have uh, the seal and uh, stamp, you must first of all be a member. And uh, once you are a member and uh, we look at your experience, uh, you must, as a matter of importance, you must have 18 months training. You must have understood somebody who has been task practice for 18 months. And once you are done with that, and uh, you want to have your own practice license, you will require to have an attestation confirming the fact that you have gone through that training beyond your certificate, the practical training. Because we have members who will never be interested in practicing tradition. We have members in the academy. We have the members in the internal revenue services and uh, services across the country. And we have members even in federal internal revenue service. But should you elect to be a task consultant, and you need our practice license. You will need to have minimum 18 months of training, on the job training, so that to know your efficiency in what we are talking about. So you get letter of attestation. Of course, for you to get any benefit from the institute, you must be a financial member. That is the blood that we use uh, to run the institute. So once you have that, then you can apply for your practice license and stamp. And once that is done, you don't even take it for granted that you are qualified. We do a kind of training so that we, we bring you on board as to what is expected of you. Because the moment we give you that practice license, the institute's image and integrity is at stake. So you must know your obligation to the client. You must know your obligation to the institute. You must know your obligation to the country. I'll give you an example. It is not enough to love your client and hate the country. So you must strike the balance. You don't aid your client to evade tasks. And you think you are a good task professional. It is simple to blame the government. But what are we doing in our little corner? So we let you know before we hand over that uh, practice license to you that your obligations to various stakeholders are very important. And you must have your uh, eyes on the ball so that you don't fail. It's not about the institute alone. It's not about your client alone. It's not even about Nigeria alone. There are other stakeholders, journalists like you. You need the right information. And that must be provided. That is, it is by doing that that the country uh, uh, can be proud of those of us who are task professional. And we are happy that we'll be doing that and uh, we, we, are, we, are, we, are, we are ready to do more. Still to come. For up-to-date information and education on taxation, please subscribe to our YouTube channel.